Lots of people from the Hornell area and beyond came out to Shawmut Park today to watch the eclipse. And WNY's Lindsay Madison joins us live from Hornell, and she's here to tell us why people say they came out despite some of the cloudy conditions. Lindsay? Nick and Renata, just a couple of hours ago, the park was packed with people, vendors, and live music. People came from just a few minutes away here in Hornell to even as far as overseas to see this once-in-a-lifetime event. Overcast skies didn't deter people from heading outside to watch the eclipse across the region. One Hornell man came with his family and some friends to watch the celestial spectacle. He says this was the first solar eclipse he really got to see, and it's special. I've always really been into scientific stuff, outer space, planets. So to be able to see something cross in front of the other, it's, it's a spectacular thing to see. You know, I was really hoping that the cloud would have cleared up enough so you could have saw the perfect ring. But it still, it gave me chills. One kid says it was fun to watch the solar eclipse. He says he did a project on it in school and also talked about what he saw and felt during it. When the eclipse started, like I was like freezing and then it got like started getting like darker really quick. And then when the eclipse ended, just getting lighter and lighter and lighter, like really quick, like a blink of an eye basically. For one couple, it was quite literally like the stars aligned as they came all the way from Europe to visit their friend and see the eclipse. So our friend Val, who, who lives here, here in Hornell, she was stationed at um, RF Mildenhall when, um, when we lived there. And it turned out we ended up being neighbours for a couple of years. We made a really good friendship and we've had that friendship ever since. So then when um, we realised that there was the chance of an eclipse and it was going to come through Val's hometown, we were like, OK, let's book a ticket.